The next question. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Rashid, a Bangladeshi. Currently, I'm working in Malaysia. How to explain to non-Muslim friends that they should not have alcohol? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O you who believe, innam al-khamru wal maysiru, most certainly intoxicants and gambling, wal ansab wal azlam, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, ritsum min amal shaitan, are an abomination from Satan's handiwork. Fajtanibuhu la'alakum tuflihoon, abstain from such handiwork that you may prosper. Alcohol, it is clearly prohibited in Islam. And alcohol is even prohibited in the Bible. It is mentioned in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1. Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. It is mentioned in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18. And be not drunk with wine. So the Bible, it clearly prohibits having alcohol. But unfortunately, many of the Christians, they yet have alcohol. The Bible and the glorious Quran, they clearly prohibit the consumption of alcohol. We human beings, we have an inhibitory center. This inhibitory center, it prevents us from doing things that we think are wrong. For example, when we want to go to the washroom, our inhibitory center will prevent us from doing so in public. Our inhibitory center will prevent us from using abusive and foul language against our elders, against our parents. So the inhibitory center prevents us from doing things that are wrong. When a person has alcohol, his inhibitory center itself it is inhibited. This is precisely the reason that people, when they are in the state of intoxication, they tend to use abusive and foul language. They use abusive language when they are talking to their elders. Many of them, they even urinate in their clothes. Because their inhibitory center itself, it is inhibited. And when a person is in the state of intoxication, he can commit several crimes. For example, rape. According to the US Department of Justice, in the year 1996 alone, every day, no less than 2,713 cases of rapes took place. Every 32 seconds, one woman was raped. And the majority of the people who committed this act of rape, they were in the state of intoxication. According to statistics, 8% of the Americans, they are involved in incest. Incest having sexual relations with your close relatives. That means 1 out of 12 Americans, they are involved in incest. And majority of the cases of incest, they happen in the state of intoxication when the person has consumed alcohol. Many people, they argue and they say that, you know, I am just a social drinker. I only have one or two pegs. Every person, when he starts having alcohol, initially he is a social drinker. No person, he drinks alcohol to become a drunkard. Every person, initially, he is a social drinker. He keeps on drinking and then eventually he becomes a drunkard. And no person who drinks alcohol can say that I have never been intoxicated. Drinking alcohol, it has a huge impact on your mind. And there are various diseases that you can get due to the consumption of alcohol. For example, various types of cancer. Cancer of the head, cancer of the neck, cancer of the bowels. And you can get various other diseases. For example, eusophagitis, gastritis, pancreatitis, hepatitis. All these diseases you can get due to the consumption of alcohol. Alcohol can also cause hypertension. And it can cause various skin diseases. So there are various diseases that you can get due to the consumption of alcohol. That's the reason we should try to abstain from having alcohol. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, it is mentioned in Sunan ibn Majah, volume number 3, chapter number 30, book of intoxicants. 
hadith number 3372 that alcohol it is the mother of all evils and it is the most shameful act so even the ahadith of our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him they clearly say that we should not have alcohol Furthermore, it's mentioned in Sunan Ibn Majah, volume number 3, chapter number 30, book of intoxicants. There are 10 categories of people who are cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who deals with alcohol, even he is cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who distills it, the ones for whom it is distilled, the one who buys it, the one who sells it, the one who drinks it. The one who buys it for someone else. The one who transports it. So 10 categories of people, they are cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those people who deal with alcohol. Even the one who serves alcohol. So we should totally abstain from the consumption of alcohol. And many people, they say that alcoholism, it is a disease. If alcoholism is a disease, it is the only disease that is sold in bottles. Advertised in the newspapers, in the magazines, on radio broadcast stations, on television channels. It is the only disease that causes violent deaths on highways, destroys family lives. It is the only disease that has no germ or viral cause. Alcoholism, it is not a disease, but it is Satan's handiwork. Abstain from it that you may prosper.